Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we're going over several pieces of science news from space, some geophysical events in the ocean and the ground, and of course, we're starting as always with the last 24 hours on our star. After the triple eruptive event we saw yesterday morning, none of which is aimed at Earth, things got much more quiet on the sun. Solar flaring dropped out partially due to the lack of complexity in the sunspots, solar wind began dying down from the coronal hole and settling into ambient conditions. Those sunspots are numerous, but today their expanse and magnetic complexity is lacking. You can see how the bigger ones are distended laterally, stretched. That's not what produces flaring unless more spots grow in the middle. As I mentioned, the solar wind is dying back down now, geomagnetic storm conditions are over, but there is an interesting note on spaceweather.com about GPS disruptions on Easter 420 this past Sunday, with the note that they don't know what caused them with no solar storm in play. But in fact, there was one, as the day began, left side, with a level one disruption, but even that shouldn't have messed with anything at all. Either this was something else or like Puerto Rico three days earlier, it was a vulnerability exposed in the ongoing magnetic pole shift. Looking at seismicity next, top shake of the day occurred overnight in Turkey. 6.2 near the surface likely created a lot of shaking nearby. It is too early here for news of damage, but that will be coming out as the day marches on. Interesting note on El Nino, it just had a stroke. Warmer eastern Pacific waters were expected to dominate this season, but they have begun plummeting. Blue near the equator. Will El Nino completely fall apart before our eyes in May? We're going to see. Up next, we're going to space where astronomers have found an exoplanet in close-in orbit, rocky, volcanic, and it's being torn apart due to the close-in orbit and tremendous forces of the star on the planet. They say it's basically turned itself into a comet now as the material coming off it forms a tail trailing behind it. Lastly on the news front, EZE, the mission that could completely destroy mainstream climate science has taken its first light. Its job is to measure the electric currents formed as the solar wind dumps energy into the Earth system and when they realize how well integrated those are into the global electric circuit to impact weather here at ground level, it's all over. No more carbon-driven warming nonsense. Waiting patiently. Folks, this weekend we kick off the major schedule at Observer Ranch. Grand opening, then astrophotography class, then Kings of Catastrophe weekend after that. Lots of pole shift conferences and prepper days. And any way people stay at campgrounds, we'll make that work for you. Hope to see you at one of our events this summer. Would love to shake your hand. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.